Welcome back. You're here with Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and today we're going to be talking about why we need to include maybe coffee filters into our survival packs and gear. Stay tuned for more. for beginners my name is Charles and on today's video we're going to be covering products called coffee filters and why should we carry those in our survival gear backpacks camping gear and so on so stay right here and we're gonna get going on this little subject so when we're talking about coffee filters um, everybody knows what coffee filters are. If not, it is something that you put into your coffee pot when you make coffee. Filters out all the coffee grinds so that they don't end up into your coffee in the morning, which is a very bad thing for anybody that drinks coffee. The last thing you want is coffee grounds. But they do have a lot more um, things that they do that uh, besides just the coffee part. First off, fire starter. Always think fire, you know, how am I going to get a fire started and, you know, um, what is a good way or anything like that. Uh, these things would light up in a, a jiffy. All right. Second thing, one of the most important things um, in a survival situation, no matter what it is, is having clean drinking water. So if you had coffee filters, cone type or just a regular type. Um, and you were out in a situation or your water has been down or whatever and you have to get water from a stream, um, a river, uh, any type of a moving water, uh, I wouldn't suggest uh, taking it from stagnant water. Um, but anyways, uh, this way here, you can filter out all the dirt, grime, leaves, uh, any debris that may be in there when you're filling your container that you're going to use to either sterilize or um, if you have like a bag system where you have it hooked up with a life straw, um, this way here, you know, you can get all the, not all, I don't wanna say they're a hundred percent, but probably 95% of all the, the big junk and all that kind of stuff, sand and everything out of there. Um, and it'll help also save on your life straw and any type of sanitation, uh, water pur purification that um, system that you do have. Now, the technically, the really the, the best way is to boil your water. So if you use one of these and you filtered out your water and then you got most of just about everything out of that, when you put your water on, then you can boil your water and you're boiling um, debris free water that will in turn turn into good drinking water. Um, you can also uh, use these filters as um, uh, first aid uh, if something happened and say you uh, you got a cut on your finger or something like that, you didn't have a band-aid with you for some reason, if you didn't have an emergency kit. Uh, I just did a video um, and talked about using the, uh, the rolls from say aluminum foil and you put tape on there. Um, so you could take these and you could fold these up and you could wrap this around your wound. Um, and if, you know, if they're in your pack and see you storm in like a sandwich bag or something like that, so they will be clean and somewhat sterile um, for the outdoors. You wrap these around here, put some tape around that, and you know, hopefully that'll hold as a band-aid until you can either get to somebody that has a pack or get help or or something like that, or just to take care of the wound so it doesn't get dirty or infected. Um, they can also use the, the cone ones would be great um, if you are out in the environment and in the woods and you come across pine, um, white pine trees, um, you, you get the needles and you could put these in here and you fold them down. You could put them in a cup of uh, 
hot water or boiling water and let them steep for say a minute or two and it makes a tea. Now the pine needle tea, if you Google it, is very, very, very good for you. Um, it's one of the, the best natural uh, teas that you can make out in the woods. Um, if other people have other suggestions uh, that is abundant because there's a lots of pine uh, in certain areas. Now where I live, we don't have very many pine trees. You very rarely see one. Um, but in most of the country, pine trees are in an abundant. Um, so if anybody has anything else that they want to throw in that, put it in the comments down below. Um, <clears throat> these can also be very good use for if you wanted to bring uh, spices or something like that, if you didn't have some way to carry them, uh, you could put them in the cone ones that work the best. Um, and you know, you could put your spices or something in there and you could roll those up um, and bring those along. Um, they can also be used for say, you had, you, you got a small kill, some fish or something and you smoked it, uh, somewhat dehydrated, especially like if it was meat off of a, a squirrel, rabbit, uh, deer, whatever and you needed to you know some way to transport for the day if you were going out and if you were going hunting scouting whatever the situation may be uh, you could use these as like little carrying things you could put some meat in there roll it up and put it inside your pack and it'll keep it you know somewhat sealed up um you know because not everybody's gonna be walking around with ziploc bags so these are very light, uh, a Ziploc bag is too. Um, but uh, the, the benefit to having your, um, your coffee filters and stuff is, for one, it is very, very, very light. Uh, for, so for everybody out there that is one of these ultra light backpackers, um, you know, they weigh everything that goes into that backpack. They want it at a certain weight and that is it. And this would be a great thing to put into your pack so you could filter water. Um, if you did have like a small coffee pot that you were bringing, um, you know, you always have to worry about cleaning that. Um, if you had these along with you, you could take and just take your knife and punch a little hole in the bottom of this and then put this down in there to uh, give you um, some, hopefully a little bit easier cleanup. And it keeps the coffee grounds from getting down to the bottom. So. The guy that gets the last cup of coffee, uh, he's not getting all the grinds. Um, been there, done that. Uh, but, you know, I mean, there's there's tons of uses for any type of uh, uh, coffee filters. Now, in the home. Now, this is just everyday use in the home. These things are good for cleaning. They're good for doing windows. They're good for if you have granite uh, countertops and stuff. They're good for for uh, wiping those down with, uh, with your cleaning. Um, good on chrome. Um, they do have several different uses. Um, I know people that use these and um, they take, and if you're starting plants, uh, vegetables and stuff, uh, they take and they'll, they'll have them start somewhere down in here and in a little cup, they make them into a little cup which isn't that good right now. And I believe they use like two or three of them to give it a little st stability. And then you can just take this, the whole thing, and they just plant it right in the ground because it's pretty much biodegradable. It, it just, you know, withers away to nothing. Um, I did just do a video that I just posted and I made it, um, showed you how to make these temporary throwaway Masks. Now we all know masks right now are like uh, the hottest commodity out there between rubbing alcohol and hand sanitizer. All right, uh, take your pick on which one is the worst. But I just showed a video how you can make a quick one uh, using two to three uh, round uh, coffee filters, a little bit of gauze, and a little bit of string with some glue and a staple gun, and that would get you, you know. Like I did say in that video also, you know, they're not N99, they're not N95, um, but any protection to help if you had to go out in an emergency and you didn't have a mask, um, anything is better than nothing, you know? And this way here, you know, your hands free, so if you're driving, you have to walk, you know, you're not walking and holding something over your face. Um, 
It may not look the prettiest, uh, but you know what? In, in a in a tight situation, survival situation, uh, we're not really worried about what we're looking like. We're worried about surviving. Um, so I just wanted to bring a quick video to you today on uh, coffee filters and everything because um, they do have a lot of uses. And like I did say, if uh, people out there, if you got ideas and stuff, share, share them with the channel. Uh, this way, here everybody gets some information. We all learn together. Um, as I keep saying, you know, we're all in this boat together. We work together. We're going to keep sailing on. If we don't work together, uh, the boat sinks. So until next time. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I thank you for everything you do for your, my channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.